Some people say Pangaea is just a theory, and that we can't prove it because we weren't there to see it. But by that logic, we couldn't prove dinosaurs existed, or that your great-grandparents were ever born. Science doesn't rely on being there, it relies on evidence. And when it comes to Pangaea, we have got plenty. Start with the word theory. See, in science, a theory isn't a guess. It's a strong explanation we have, backed by repeated testing and mountains of evidence. Like the theory of gravity or evolution, plate tectonics theory, which includes the idea of Pangaea, is a well-supported framework, not a hunch. Now, the evidence. First up, look at the continents. Even kids in school notice this. South America and Africa fit together like a puzzle. But when we map the true edges of these continents, the continental shelves, well, the fit is even tighter. And that's not a coincidence. Then we have fossils. Mesosaurus, a freshwater reptile, is found in both South America and South Africa. And it couldn't have swum across the oceans because the oceans are salty. Moving on to Glossopteris, a seed-like fern, it appears on five separate continents. We also have Lystrosaurus, a land reptile, is found in Africa, India, and Antarctica. Explain that one. These creatures lived on one single landmass, and guess what? It was called Pangaea. And the geology backs this up. The Appalachian Mountains in North America lines up perfectly with the mountain ranges in Scotland and Scandinavia. And we also have climatic clues to support this too. We find glacial marks in the now tropical areas like India and South America. Meanwhile, coal beds made from tropical forests exist in Antarctica. That only makes sense if these continents were once connected and in very different locations. And then we have the smoking gun magnetic stripes on the ocean floor. See, as magma rises and cools at the mid-ocean ridges and spreads apart, iron minerals align with the Earth's magnetic field. Now, the magnetic field flips every few hundred thousand years. We know this because we can see it in the barcode-like pattern. This creates a symmetrical magnetic pattern on either side of the ridge. And both sides of the ridges have the same age as they go further apart, showing this process in action. And we can see things in real time. We have real-time evidence of the plates moving using satellite data. The Atlantic Ocean is getting wider every year about as fast as your fingernails grow. So no, we didn't see Pangaea with our own eyes, but we see its fingerprints everywhere in the rocks, fossils, mountains, and oceans. Pangaea wasn't a guess, it was very real.